All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Mahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bashar, Gagadash. The mind is there, the prospect of a millstone, which I'm truth and rule well. Peace, blessing, and salutation, accurate there. Scared the rise of four corners of the earth. That's serving the truth, not true sincerity. Two, I say Shalom. This is the Bible that comes to another video in the spirit. And the top of this video is going to be about how Jake is getting roused up. And uh, from the title, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm about to uh, speak about. You know, I'm about to speak about um, what happened uh, this uh, this last week, you know, down there in, uh, I believe it's Montgomery, Alabama, you know, with that little boat fight, that boat brawl, okay? You know, it all started off with, you know, E as E being a prideful man that he is, you know, thinking that, you know, and, and not want to listen to Jake because, you know, they still look at us as, you know, they still look at us as, as you know, nothing. You know, so, you know, he didn't like that Jake was, you know, trying to just tell him to move their boat. The man just doing his job. OK. And, you know, they want to hop on Jake to the one the one Jake, you know, is, you know, went back to, you know, who they truly are. You know, who, who, who are wicked, you know, you know, evil men, evil people, you know, because that's the evil thing to do to just to to jump on a man for doing his job. He's just doing his job, you know. And y'all just jumped on him, but what happened? Then the, the the um they got jumped on, you know. And and that's and that's um that's 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 just a uh a look at what's gonna come um later on down the road, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be more Jake uh jumping on ES because the Lord's gonna uh he he's uh he's mingling that spirit, okay. I'm gonna grab this. This is Genesis forty nine and nine. It says, Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey. My son, though art gone up, he stood, he stooped down. He couched as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse him up. Khan, who, and it says Judah is a lion, which is, um, which is so-called Negroes. Okay, that's who, that's who Judah is. Okay, Jake. And he said, who's going to rouse him up? And the Lord's going to rouse him up. Lord's gonna put that spirit in Jake to get roused up and to do what? And start pouncing on Esau ass, man. Okay, that was only a glimpse of what can happen, you know. And you see with that how 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 severe that was. You know, they got jumped on them. You gotta you got people getting hit with chairs, man. And that's just a mini ball. What about when the riots start happening? What about when the real race wars start happening? It's gonna get real bloody out there. Because Jake is getting tired of E ass, you know, and I can see and I can see it. You know, just for me going through my everyday life, you know, you looking at the average average Jake. You know, Jake is really getting tired of E ass, man. Because he think that he got that powerful spirit on him and that can nobody do nothing to him. But Jake not Jake don't care no more. Jake is ready to, to get down. And and Lord gonna allow Jake to do so. I'm gonna come over here. This is Ezekiel twenty five and twelve. It says, Thus says the Lord Yahweh, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah. By taking vengeance and hath greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, and I will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from teeming. And they of the Dan shall fall by the sword, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Okay, by the hand of his people. Uh, the house of Israel is, is the Lord's people. He said the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites. You know, those are the real Jews. It says, and they shall do and eat them according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord. Yahweh Khan. Okay, it says, according to my anger. Okay, we, they, we have to wait for Yahweh Shem and Shai. Well, not us, you know, because we understand the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Okay, but the Lord is going to put his anger inside Inside of Jake, man. Okay, he's gonna take them down. But then when when he does do it with us, you know, when the when Lord one the Lord saves us, or even before then, when the Lord gives some brother spiritual powers, man. Okay, the Lord they're gonna have that. The Lord's gonna put the anger inside of them. You know, the fuck e up. But that we un, we understand the ultimate uh ass whooping of e not gonna come until we are beamed up and we come back down with them new bodies, man, and and them and those spiritual powers. You know, and the Lord really, is, you know, instills in us his anger, you know, and we're going to, and that's why we um, go out here and start messing E up and, and, um, 
and um, executing judgment is going to be righteous, okay? Because we're going we're gonna to feel all that anger inside of us, and it's going to be righteous. We're going to be able to pour out the indignation of the Lord. I'm going to come over here. This is Deuteronomy 30 and 7. It says, And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Kind of. You know, seeing that just reminded me of, you know, how, how they used to do us. You know, how they used to do us back in the day. E, how he used to jump on us, you know, be, especially police used to beat us with batons, man. You know, the things they used to do to Jake. But now, now the world's are reversing. Now they the ones getting beat on. They the ones getting jumped on. It was another video, I believe, here in uh, in Detroit. Uh, there was a fight going on and it was between the Jake and, and the Edomite. And the Jake was clocking him with a chair and, and knocked him out. Okay? And then you got Jake out here trolling, walking around with chairs. I just heard, uh, I think I just, uh, today at camp, I believe it was um, a brother talking about it. How Jake walking around with chairs uh, in their hands, man. Just trolling, just trolling, uh, just trolling Esau. Okay? Esau not going to Esau not gonna take that. Esau going to get pissed off. Okay, but that's how it starts. It starts with just that little friction that and then that's you know, you got a whole race for going on. But you can see how the curses are lifting off of us and, and being uh, turned on to uh to Esau. I'm gonna grab this. This is Ezekiel thirty five and five. It said, Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and in the in, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sif thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Kind. It's gonna get real bloody out here for E, man. Because E what? E has not what? E has all been prepared to blood. No, they, they, that's how they, you know, he, 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 man, he gets off with war. He likes war, man. He likes that, that conflict, you know, and we, you know, we, you know, he didn't have a problem with uh, killing Jake, man, in all type of ways, he, you know, still to this day, he don't, but since you love to kill so much, since you, since you get, like to pursue blood so much, the blood's going to pursue you, man, Okay. Like it's gonna be a lot of Edomites getting knocked off by by Jake, man. Okay. I'm gonna grab this. This is Romans twelve and nineteen. It says, "Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine; I repay," said the Lord. Con. Yeah. So. I'm bringing this out to because we understand we can't avenge ourselves. We have to we have to give a place unto wrath because vengeance is Yahweh by Shimon is going to repay. So yeah, we talked about the Lord pain his anger, and so I know this is what's going to happen. Okay, when the Lord when the, when the Lord says it's time for it, when the Lord says it's time for him to to to, uh, to um you know to to avenge us, we're on the Lord's timing. But we can see that we're we're fastly approaching that time, man. You know, we can see how things are happening. Yeah. So ultimately that's it, man. You know, Lord one of these videos edifying, you know, Jake is getting roused up. So, you know, don't be surprised if you see more things happening further down the road. So I'm gonna close out by gonna praise to you. I will buy Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kakadash, Shalom.